Right, thank you. Um, it, as you said, uh, my name is John Knowles with the Nature Conservancy. I'm going to be talking about um, two uh, efforts that we're working on um, within the Conservancy and the Caribbean program. One is the Caribbean Challenge Initiative, and the second is the Climate Resilient Eastern and Caribbean Marine Managed Area Network Project, also called ECMON. Um, even though I'll be talking about these, um, <clears throat> there's other work that we're also involved in which I won't be able to go into uh, during this presentation, but happy to speak to anybody interested in it uh, throughout this week. Uh, but that includes the, the regional ocean, the regional, uh, Caribbean Regional Ocean Partnership work, uh, which Ernesto Diaz here for Puerto Rico will be uh, touching on this week. Also the general fulfillment of uh, just our presence in the region, data sharing requests, um, um, I, you know, we work on that a lot, but I, I won't be discussing much here. Just our internal conservation strategy monitoring uh, for our own projects, um, I won't mention, as well as the Coastal Resilience website work that the organization as a whole is working on, um, I'm not going to touch on. And then any other projects such as the ecosystem-based adaptation work, our water funds, marine spatial planning, conservation planning. So all stuff that we do that I'm happy to speak to, uh, to you all throughout the week. Um, but related to Caribbean Challenge Initiative and ECMON, uh, so the Caribbean Challenge Initiative has 10 governments um, involved and really two main objectives, uh, the first being the 20 by 20 goal to effectively conserve and manage at least 20 percent of the marine and coastal environment by 2020. And then the second is the sustainable financing goal, which is, which is to achieve the first objective and to have in place a fully functional sustainable financing mechanism that will provide long-term reliable funding to conserve and, and manage uh, those environments in each of those participating governments. Uh, so there is actually a project uh, r related to five of the, the ten governments uh, in the Caribbean Challenge Initiative, um, which is titled the Sustainable Financing and Management of the Eastern Caribbean Marine Ecosystem Project, and that is Jeff funded, uh, World Bank executed, and TNC implemented. And uh, a component of that is actually the deployment of a regional monitoring and information system for protected areas network. So uh, that's, that's the link here uh, to, to CMA2. For ECMON on the other side, um, that project is working with, with six countries uh, in the Eastern Caribbean and has four main objectives. One is to declare new marine managed areas and strengthen the existing ones build on the uh, strong constituencies for sustainable livelihoods and ocean use. I'm going to jump down here to this fourth one, uh, which will be to institute sustainable sustainability mechanisms to support those marine managed area networks. And then the, the, the last component is to improve and update an Eastern Caribbean decision support system and to provide access and decision making tools and incorporate the current ecological, socioeconomic and climate change data. So a uh, pretty big task, but is actually um, the third objective and the, um, the deployment of the regional monitoring and information system that I'm going to speak more on and the linkages to those both uh, to CMA for the rest of this quick presentation uh, because we're kind of working on them together as one. So for, for both of these within the next year to six months, we're going to see funding for monitoring. Um, also, we're going to have a regional monitoring and information system for, uh, for protected areas network um, playing out in some aspects. Under the ECMON project, we want to have a uh, prototype up for the Eastern Caribbean Decision Support System, uh, which will just be uh, essentially widgets or tools that are being built off of, of the, the other project. Uh, we hope to have some reef, a reef assessment report for the Eastern Caribbean as, as well as um, reef assessments going on for areas that have never been assessed um, or that have not been assessed in a long time. Uh, so in improving kind of that aspect of the ecological status for, for, those, for those countries. Uh, the, the main linkages to, to CMA2 would be the, uh, in terms of technology, would be the geo-node-based Eastern Caribbean Regional Information System. Uh, currently does not have a home, so uh, these are things that we're in discussion with. Possible options could be uh, working through the Caribbean Challenge Initiative uh, or Biopalma or re regional geonodes that might be set up um, 
um, through through World Bank funding, and then I think you know of course there'd be hyperlinks to, to each of the respective systems, and we would certainly want to pull from each other's data catalogs, sharing that information. Um, in general, T and C's interests uh, could be taken advantage of, uh, including our work on the first spatial protected areas data set and the attribute tables there, which we work in collaboration with CAMPAM with, uh, the coral reef extents and status and, and other habitat extents. Um, also, the main linkages for, well, proposals would be interested in contributing to CMA2 uh, through, through the published layers that we will be hosting in those systems that we're building out, strategic contribution for the priority data sets under CMA2, <coughs> And CLME plus uh, any strate and strategic contribution to core measures as well, and then of course we would be interested in uh, using information coming out of CMA two and CLME, CLME plus related to fisheries, uh, no take mapping no take areas uh, such as that. So that's it. Questions. Thank you. Any questions?